Hello my friends, Johnny M is back and today we are playing again Machinki. And we are playing from where we left last time. So this line, if you remember, is the line that produces us the timber tokens, which is the second uh, resource in this game. Okay, after the... Uh, the first one, the default one, which is just basically dollars. Okay. And we'll go right away to this uh, special view in which we construct. We'll have to uh, survey this line and see if uh, we have to add some more trains. Okay, I think there was a train that we haven't upgraded last time. And there is this button which will display all your, uh, you know, a list of all your trains. And as you can see, uh, we have two types of trains. Uh, the first one, which is this one, the default one. And then we have these new trains. And did we upgrade all the trains on this wood line? It looks that yes. So now we should take a visit, you know, pay a visit to our passenger lines. Okay, and upgrade those trains. The reason we haven't upgraded them last time is because, uh, you know, this second type of train, the Baldwin one, it requires, you know, uh, it requires these uh, timber tokens. Okay, so we call the train to the depot, we'll pause the game, we'll buy Baldwin, we'll switch it and delete the old one, and we'll restart the game. And one other difference between this, uh, you know, the first, the Porter and the Baldwin, is the Baldwin, uh, <clears throat> it consumes twice as much money to run. So the maintenance cost is basically higher. So yeah, it's gonna take some time until this train will arrive. In the meantime, we can take a look at our second loop and see if we have a train near the depot to call it in. No, this one is here. What about others? Maybe it would be easier if we will run the game. Okay. No, all of them seem to be far away. Yeah, because for some reason, for some reason, they like to come one after another. So I guess um, we will go. Or should I? Yeah, I will call this in. Because I don't want to lose it. Also this one. And we'll go to the first line. And we'll also call this train in. Okay, so um, uh, as I said, there is <clears throat> you can go to the next era faster if you invest a certain amount of resources, but I guess only if you need. Okay. I'll let the train go into the station, because if not, it won't drop its passengers. Okay, now we can call it. There's already another train in this depot. So we can first upgrade this one. Again, selling the old one. And uh, starting the train. So I called this one. I guess train two is also in the station. Oh, this is train two. It's just that I haven't selected the right depot. So again, buying the new one. 
replacing it and selling the old one and starting it. So this is a Baldwin. Okay. So um, oh, this is a Baldwin for some reason. So why is it in the depot? I guess it already was up upgraded. Did we miss this one? No, this is one is also Baldwin. Okay. I guess I can stop this train for some time and wait a little bit until that one goes farther. And yeah, it looks like all the trains are updated. That's a funny thing. You see, I let this, when I generated this map, I set it to uh, generate uh, French names of cities and it generated this city, Nivelle, which is actually a city in Belgium where I'm staying today and tomorrow. So yeah, this is a coincidence, but I have Nivelle in my game and I'm staying tonight here. Isn't this cool? So where is my train? It's here. And the other one is there. Oh, I'll wait a little bit more. Now I can start it. Like so. And hmm. For some reason the train didn't stop in the station five and it won't stop because it's heading to station seven first. Okay. We'll have to keep uh, an eye on this line and see if these trains are enough to transport all the people. If not, we'll have to add one more train. So now let's go back to our timber line, which is here and revisit it. Okay, so this one delivered its timber. This one drops the timber. Oh, it looks like the train is delivering timber. Yeah, th there's more that it can handle. So what we'll do is buy one more Baldwin and see, it looks like it has five timber trailers or wagons. Okay. And I'll copy the orders like so. Now I hope that, you know, these two trains combined will be able to uh, transport all the, how's it called, timber logs. Uh, let's, um, let's see expansion. Now we can afford this freight station which is an expansion that not only increases the loading speed, unloading and loading, but it also increases the capacity to 300. So you have a larger buffer um, in case that your trains cannot keep up with the influx and outflux of goods. You, at least you're not wasting anything. For that my screen went black for a second now okay so it looks like we fulfilled this timber delivery so we collected the reward uh, what else the game asks us to what build three extensions we will eventually and we still haven't delivered any coal so I guess the next thing because as I said later I may add this forest to this timber processing facility, the sawmill. Okay, now we have to take care of um, the coal tokens, which is the next 
uh, type of resource that this game uh, introduces us and I already know that right here the, um, this might be a very good location of our coal mine and this tool factory because um, as opposed to to money you're not rewarded but per distance you're rewarded uh, per unit delivered so it doesn't matter if you're delivering from across the map or very close here it's gonna be very fast and very efficient so this is actually what we are gonna do now so okay six blocks of station there and can I put it yeah it doesn't really matter I'll put it here I'll connect them directly like so and then yeah it doesn't matter this can go around or this can go around let's make this go around like so but since that yeah I guess it can go like so yeah no problem very fast and efficient I'll make it go clockwise because it suits me better and now we can make yeah first of all I guess we'll construct a depot and we yeah the ideal location would be somewhere here before it goes to uh, the coal so I'll build right away some signals to avoid confusions for the trains and we'll build right away a Baldwin because it's the best that we can get right now and now we have two options we have a Talbot which has a capacity of six and it costs only dollars while the lens is better it has a capacity of nine but it costs us uh, timber tokens and luckily we have enough and you also when deciding with each uh, with what trailer to go you have to take in consideration the length because sometimes not necessarily uh, you know the best and the largest one is the most efficient um, lengthwise so in some cases something simpler and cheaper may be better um, I think in this case uh, uh, Linz is the best one so yeah oh <laughs> this train this bold one is actually quite um, weak because you know four four wagons and we already have the maximum the gross weight of our uh, the gross weight of uh, our train so I'll create should I should I make it to wait until it's fully yeah I guess yes and then I'll tell it to unload in the meantime I guess I can buy some upgrades this one is quite cheap and I'll take it right away okay and this one is oh we can't we can get it because we need these uh, uh, tokens so yeah it looks like for now um, <clears throat> that was the only upgrade that we could take we'll just have to wait until we uh, get some more um, coal tokens and then we'll be able to uh, get this upgrade and eventually hmm. this one I think this one it it actually takes in timber and outputs coal so if we were to have some supply excess of timber somewhere close to it we could deliver some timber and then it will convert one piece of timber into three piece of coal which is very efficient but yeah it will take two two ticks if you like because this this upgrade would take just one tick um, now we have a lot of money so we could uh, return some of the loan 
Just, yeah, we had almost 5,000 in loan. Let's make it 3,000. Okay, a little bit less. And in a second, we'll have our first coal tokens, which, as I said, is the third resource in this game. And here it is. That's why I said that it's also a puzzle game, because it's like a puzzle, you have to solve a, pu a puzzle and build up your resources one by one. Now I don't really think that this supply of coal is gonna be enough for all our needs, especially if eventually we will upgrade all our trains to something more advanced, which consumes uh, let me show you, which consumes coal instead of money, as there are, you know, the, the better trains will consume coal instead of money, and then eventually they'll consume uh, uh, petrol or fuel and then electricity. Is there another source of coal nearby? There is one here, hmm. but the problem is, yeah, we'll have to, to extend this station if we want to uh, add one more line of coal, have to extend it like this, and it will come from this way, okay, like so, here we will put another sign like so and then it should be able to go past this uh, coal mine to avoid it actually like so and here hmm will it work like this yeah, but we need to keep some space for the coal mine upgrades in the future, like so. Okay. You see, there are some other tool works here, so in theory, it could have, could have maybe, be easier to transport it here, but. Uh, hmm. Now let's transport it there. I'll try to avoid uh, this city and these uh, factories. I'll put my station vertically this time. Yeah, I'll put it vertically, like so. And then, then uh, because it's clockwise, it will come this way. Okay. No, 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 I don't need a station. Like so. And we'll go back like so. So it will. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Uh, yeah, I guess we have enough space to do this trick. Okay. And then from here. It will come like so. Hmm. Or like so, for example. Yeah, I guess it's good enough. Like so. Because I, I keep them as compact as possible. Okay. Okay. Now I'll lay down the signals like this and uh, like this. I'll have to make sure that at each intersection I have a signal. 
Yeah, it should be good. And that one, because it's so far away, I might need two trains, maybe, I don't know. One, two, three, four. So I'll give it the required orders. Uh, go here, no. Go here, then what? Um, get a full load, then come here and unload. Okay, now I have to not forget to put an upgrade on this mine too, like so. Yeah, we're still waiting for more tokens, which we will have, we should have uh, soon enough. Um, extensions. Do I need a freight? Yeah, I can afford it, so why not? Yeah, and as I said, I think I might need two trains because it's quite far away. So I'll buy right away a second train. I'll copy the orders like so. And I'll start it right away. Okay, so uh, click the pot. Oh, so there are some depot extensions. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, but it's quite expensive. So uh, there is this depot extension, which is basically a building next to it. And this extension actually unlocks more trains and more wagons in theory. So I'm not sure that I want to spend my first hard-earned um, coal tokens to invest in an extension. I would rather uh, keep it for um, a first, for a first, uh, for uh, yeah, uh, another coal expansion on uh, coal mine. Yeah, I'll have it soon. So I think we fulfilled this uh, what are these quests okay for some reason the game stutters when I you know, press the arrows to go sideways or up and down like this although the frame rate shouldn't be that bad now it's like yeah around 40 Although on my GTX 10, 1070 is better, but on this computer with uh, R9 to 90, the FPS is lower. And as you can see, I think we might need a, a third train. I'm afraid we might need a, a third train. So we should really see. So we have enough money. Uh, well, I say money. It's uh, coal tokens to actually take this maintenance shed which as you can see is it adds twice as much coal generation uh, generation that uh, this upgrade gave us so um, hmm, we shall see if this train will be able to keep up with this uh, upgraded uh, station so I definitely should build a third one because if I'm gonna take this upgrade to the other coal mine, then it definitely won't keep up. So I guess as soon as we'll have uh, enough coal tokens to, f to make the upgrade on the other mine, we shall then uh, proceed and buy at least one extension and see if it will offer us some additional some additional uh, 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 trains. So it looks like this toolworks already is overwhelmed by the call. So we definitely need this upgrade. Okay, and this is for now, this is the only upgrade for call. And we should probably take the extension with the freight station because it will make unloading faster 
and make a, a larger buffer for, for the call. Yeah, and as you can see, the size of the train is quite smaller than, than six blocks. So as soon as we'll have the, se uh, the next uh, the next uh, train, uh, you know, available, we shall get it and then add some more uh, call cards. Okay, let me see where I would like to buy my first extension. Should I buy it here into my log log line? Hmm? Is this uh, can this uh, keep up? Oh, because I have a depot here, another there. <laughs> Lots of depots. Yeah. No, let me take it here with the coal. Then we'll see if it's worth it. If it's worth uh, adding this extension at this moment in time for other depots. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, it gave us some additional train. First of all, this Ilishka, <laughs> which is, yeah, it's more expensive, but it's also less powerful. So I don't know what's the point. Uh, except, I guess its only advantage is that it's um, shorter. So if you are constrained with uh, you know, the size of your train station. And yeah, this is the train. This is the next train, the Rush, Rush, Russian or Russian. This, as you can see, is quite powerful. And 700 HP, it's uh, slightly longer, but it costs coal and it consumes coal. Hmm, so maybe it's it's worth it. It's worth to to upgrade at least some of our trains to this uh, Russian. But we have to, first of all, we'll have to make sure that we have a steady supply of coal, of coal tokens. Because if not, we risk to consume all the coal that we have And yeah, and we are still waiting uh, for the next era. We can pay it, but why bother? Because we'll we'll get it soon. We'll get it in in a year, less than a year actually. So um, hmm, yeah, I should then buy this extension here. And oh, there is we already. Hmm, we already have the next extension but it consumes this other this is iron tokens so yeah it's it's not gonna be soon uh, for us to afford and uh, that new upgrade so when we'll transition to the next era some of these cities, uh, at least I hope, will, um, will start producing mail, which is the next thing. Yeah, look at it. Let me pause it. So as you just saw, this city and also this city started to produce mail. Okay, this one also, and also this one, except this one. Yeah, that's that's actually very fortunate because Sometimes, uh, some of the city. Well, if you have multiple loops, like a loop. No, I, I want to say a big loop with multiple cities. Uh, you know, not not many of them will actually generate mail. So, so yeah, this time we got lucky, and there is one more city, Franconville. Very French. <laughs> I would say it's French um, cliche. 
but and I'm already thinking maybe it's worth to add it to the loop. Hmm. Because it has mail. I really don't know. Should we? Should we add it to the loop? Hmm. Because. Yeah, we'll have mail, mail. From here, it will come here and then here. Yeah, I guess we can. I guess it, it, it might be easy to add it to the loop, so why not? Let's do it right away. So, um, I'll put my station, I guess. Um, hmm. Like so, no. Like so, okay. And then I'll connect it from that station. No. Okay, yeah, like so. Yeah. Then I'll tell it to go connect to this line. Or even like so. I don't know if it's the most efficient to do it this way. Because I would like to also avoid, you know, going up hills. I guess this can work. Like so. And then we'll draw our... Um... Okay, I'll buy the extension right away. A waiting room. Yes. Then I should install this roads. Uh, how I used to do them? Oh yeah, I have to first build the decoration, the platforms. One, two, three, four, like so, and then I can draw the roads, like so. Okay, and also this way. Yeah, like so. Um, but then we'll have, yes, uh, also we'll have to add the signs. Like so. Um, I'm thinking maybe I would like to shorten this line. Uh, for example, because we can afford it, we have the money now. If we take it and we do like, like this, wouldn't it be shorter to connect like this? Yeah, it would. So then I'll have to delete this line. Should I delete this one? Yeah, I will. Why not? Like so. And then adding the signs like so. Yeah. Um, now the next thing we'll have to do, we'll have to modify or at least add some new orders to our trains if I can find them. So one is here, okay. So I'll add to go to Franconville here, but the Franconville, it's after the Dunkerque, okay. So it should be like this, Dunkerque, Franconville, and then Court, 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 Court Tray. Yeah, I'm reading them in, in, in English, you know. Obviously, I speak French, but uh, for you to understand easier, I'm reading them in English. And then the, um, my other train, it's here. Okay, we'll also add this new station and put it after Dunkirk. Yeah, 
Um, we'll also have to. We'll also have to add uh, some mail trains, and for mail, it could be a good idea to shorten because this city doesn't have mail. So maybe we could build a line, a short line like this, and then make the mail train go on a shorter uh, loop. Uh, but first, I wanted to check this my other loops. Yeah, and here also we got lucky. We have all these three cities now can generate mail. Great, it's absolutely great. And hmm, I don't know. Should I should I buy a uh, you know the new train? Bot. Okay, the 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 Prussian. Oh, okay. So there is another one. Class sixty-five. Hmm. Now that's interesting. So where did I put it? I put it here. So now it looks like we have two trains, quite powerful trains, that can that have seven hundred HP and consume one coal token per tick. Uh, this one is shorter, but this one can go faster. Oh, it can go faster, but this one is more powerful. Okay, so yeah, I guess we have the option to either, hmm, and it depends how much does a wagon, oh, we have new wagons, by the way. We used to have all the coach car and now we have the first class. Uh, we'll upgrade eventually to, uh, to all of them or second class. Uh, so it's 22 tons. For example, as opposed to, let's say, a coal, which is 36. Because hmm. I'm thinking, should we prioritize speed over power? That's what uh, what's interesting now. Um, yeah, I guess we should now work towards the mail. So um, yeah, why not? Why not go ahead and and uh, build these new trains? So I'll take my my depot. Okay. So I'll build a class sixty five which is quite expensive, 50, 50 timber. Okay, I'll take it, I'll pause, and then, I'll, yeah, I decided because it's it's more powerful, yes, it's slower than the, the Prussian or the Russian one, but, um, but it's more powerful. So I'll see, do I have different types of, um, a male uh, wagons. Let me check here in this wagons. So I have the standard one, which is the cheapest one, and then no. Okay, I don't have other options. Um, where we were? We were here. Yeah, but first I wanted to build this shorter line. To come here ish here -ish. like can it build by its own like uh, so why it says that cannot climb diagonal but here it's oh it's quite expensive can we put it can we connect it like this directly we can't we can't but can it go like so? Yeah, is it really shorter? Is it much shorter or not? That one is... This one is not very expensive. But it's not shorter by a lot. Yeah, I'll build it like this. It's crazy expensive. Okay. And like so, I'll put 
the signs. Yeah, it should work. Yeah, this is why it was so expensive. So we have our uh, train, which I forgot the name of. The train 22, which is called class 65, okay. And we'll add enough wagons. I have no idea how many, but uh, let's see. Uh, so its maximum is three, so, uh -huh, okay. So we will basically be capped by the size of the train, right? 49. Okay, 56. I guess it's an overkill right now, but who cares? So, I'll... Yeah, we have a 9 mail. I'll tell it to go here, then here, then here, okay, then here, and the last one will be here, okay. So this is now the our most advanced train, which consumes coal, and I have no idea if it's gonna worth it, because it's gonna be expensive for us, it will consume our coal tokens, which we don't have that many actually, okay. Let's see it working. Okay, so it should load shortly the mail. We have 15 mail. And it should deliver it. So 16 uh, money tokens for it. And. It looks like we got the money, but I haven't seen the graphics of the money. Oh, this one is quite expensive. Why? Because it's... Yeah, these two CD are uh, farther away. So it will naturally give us much more money. Now, I would stop the game because I also would like in this episode to build the second train for mail for this line. So we'll fo follow the same path. We'll buy, yeah, how many, 49, 56, yeah. Uh, we, still, we still can add, how many? We actually can add two more um, wagons of mail if we will need. So if this is not gonna be enough, we can add two more because we're, we're, we're good on the weight and we'll, we have the length to add two more in theory. So I'll give it the orders like this and then go here and then go here. So this loop, oh, we can, we have another city. We can add this city to the loop. Great, add, but I'm afraid we won't have time to do it in this episode. I might, you know, I might to save you some time. I might add this city to the loop uh, you know, between these and uh, next episode. And then I'll keep this line as a shorter route because as you can see, this city doesn't have the mail. So uh, I may keep this line as a shorter one and then extend this one to Liege. Okay. And uh, so we'll have four cities in a loop. Great. And if somewhere in the future we'll spawn a city here, then it's gonna be even greater. Okay. So yeah, that's our mail. And I guess with that, we can finish this episode. Unfortunately, I was hoping that we'll be able to build our first um, uh, iron producing line, but yeah, we're gonna have to do it uh, next time. Uh, yeah, I still think that this episode went uh, went along uh, quite quite good. We, uh, we've done lots of uh, 
good stuff. So guys, as usual, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and other videos, then please subscribe, please hit that bell button. I'll wait you to come back for the next time and I wish you all a great day. Bye bye.